Hey guys, welcome back. Um, what we're gonna tackle now is the uh, seating arrangements. Um, you know, since the Subaru donor is a uh, you know is a kind of a waste product, uh, once we're done with it, you know, it goes to the the crusher. They basically recycle as much as they can. Um, we may as well try to use as much as possible. So I'm uh, not saying that the Subaru seats are the best fit for the for the bus or for uh, Vanigans or anything, but they they do fit and uh, and they're quite comfortable. So let's take a look and see uh, what we can do to make them fit. Here's the seat uh, that came in the 1977 bus that I'm working on now. Um, you can see it's you know it's it's not very comfortable all the cushioning um, all the horsehair coconut fiber stuff is kind of worn out I mean we've got some pretty gnarly uh, tears in here and it's just empty basically um, so it's not very comfortable uh, when we tip it over <laughs> you'll see that it's pretty pretty gnarly in there. I mean this stuff is just like flaking off. It's yeah this seat is pretty worn out. So what I'm proposing is using a a seat from the Subaru Legacy that we pulled out. So one of the benefits is here let me flip it over for you padding is actually um, kind of this foam material um, looks like closed cell foam and you know it's in fantastic shape all the bearings for the sliders are still in great shape um, you know it needs a little cleanup but other than that it's it's great a lot of the benefit is comfort but we've also got you know, we're able to move the seat forward and back. Um, on the driver's side, we have a bolster adjustment or uh, lumbar support actually, so you can adjust that. This is a passenger seat, so it doesn't have that. But, um, you know, we'll need to take off some of the stuff we won't need, like this uh, seat belt bracket. It had automatic seat belts, so it won't actually work with our VW. But uh, what we'll do is take a look at how to, well, check it out, five cents. What we're gonna do is take a look at uh, how to adjust these brackets um, so that we can fit it into the van. Put the uh, seat up on a little temporary workbench here and just going to take off um, all the extraneous stuff that we don't really need. Um, gonna take this seat belt off. Um, actually going to modify this bracket as well as the one in the back there. And then the front ones as well. Those, those will probably be modified. Um, they do have a bend in them that, that sits kind of almost perfectly with the bends in the bus, but um, I'll show you what I do here in just a moment. All right, so using an angle grinder, I uh, grinded off this bracket here. If we come over to the seat, uh, we can see where that came off. And it kind of kind of sat like this. And um, what I've done is I've actually bent this side up so it's a little more in line, a little straighter uh, with the rail as you can see because usually it kind of bends downward at an angle so straighten that out and uh, on the rear on the right side of the seat um, I actually cut some of the bracketry and kind of leveled it out um, so it's lined up a little straighter with the rail as well. So what that's going to do is allow the back end to sit pretty flush. Now on the front side, I haven't done anything. Um, these are going to remain um, just like how they are. So let's go ahead and do a test fit.
So we have the seat in and it's basically just uh, sitting in here. I haven't drilled the holes and put the seat in yet, but we can see that the brackets actually sit pretty close to where um, kind of the bend is naturally. So if we come to this back bracket here, this is the one that was bent. Um, you'll see that, you know, it, it sits pretty nicely. If we zoom back here, you can maybe get a better idea. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the left rear side. So it's just gonna sit right right here, very near the seat belt. So the seat belt will kinda sit like right there. But overall, a pretty pretty good, decent fit. Um, it is slightly taller than the VW seat. So for really tall folks, uh, it may not be the best answer. But, um, you know, I like the adjustability of these seats and you know, the look isn't too bad for the bus either, especially if you're not going for restoration. So next up, I'm just gonna drill the holes and get it mounted. So the holes are drilled. Um, basically these outside holes, uh, you probably can't see it from underneath here, uh, right there and right there. Um, we're just gonna use these bolts that I uh, harvested from our donor Subaru. I try to keep a lot of bolts and nuts and whatnot uh, from the Subarus just because they're handy in situations like this. So we have the holes drilled. I'm going to go ahead and fasten it down and uh, give it a whirl. All right, we have the seat bolted in now. Uh, it's super secure. Uh, now you can see we have a lot of functionality. Uh, first off, we can uh, Go pretty far forward here. We can come back and have a pretty nice seating uh, adjustment. We can fold that all the way forward and bring it up to give us a little more storage. Um, let's see, we can go back all the way to have a pretty reasonable front seat sleep if we wanted, a little nap. And uh, if we come forward, we have access to kind of some some basic storage underneath. You could put a like a strong box or something in there for traveling. Um, but yeah, it, these seats work out pretty well. They're a little taller than the VW seats, so that's somewhat of a downside. But uh, other than that, they're super comfortable. The bolsters hold you in pretty well around corners and. and um, you know, they, they're great in my opinion. So thanks for following along on the, the Subaru seat adaptation into the bus. Uh, next thing we're going to do is take a look at the door skins. Um, so keep an eye out for that video.